welcome back to the 4v4 Search and Destroy Ghosts kickoff tournament. Map number two between Optic Gaming and Fuzzy Nuts and crew is going to be Overlord Search and Destroy. And this is a map that, you know, I really haven't played much in 8's lobbies. You know, there are other maps that players prefer to play. So I've played this game, or I've played this map a lot in public matches. And there are a couple of dynamic map elements that could really help you out if you utilize, like closing the mid hangar doors. Convict off the start. He's looking for this first blood, putting down some shots, but won't find that player near the tank. But nice line of sights off the start. What is the bomb carry doing? Fuzzy nuts, you're on screen, man. Bumzo being aggressive or near the top rocks. As uh, let's pull up the mini map. You see the B bomb site looks like will be the site of choice to push. They got some great positioning there. A, of course, down low in the hangar. But still trying to work these first bloods. No kills made just yet. Bumzo definitely the, uh, the player to watch on this team. He uh, went 7-4 in the first map on Sovereign, but they wound up dropping that by a total round count of 4-2 to two because, well, J-Cap and Skump just went off. J-Cap finished 9-2, Skump 5-2 right behind him. Bomb does go down. Bumzo, you spot someone. You spot two of them. Takes that one. There goes J-Cap looking for the second, pre-firing through the door, and he will find J Nate shot and Jacob looking for the third won't be able to pick that one up but convict he's just watching the flank and he does find someone there taking out scumpy so it is all up to big T I'm not sure why scumpy's name is great right there but regardless fuzzy nuts and crew come out strong in round number one and you see Zybeck in the round any kill cam getting the final kill for his team but it was a B push for the first offensive round We'll see how Optic decide to respond. As a uh, now that I see the the defense spawn, it definitely sticks out to me that offense might have an easier time because they might. Be, it seems like they're kind of equidistant to the B bomb site, and of course the offense they'll be working from the high ground. You know they'll be working from the top rocks, so the defensive players they kind of got to work in from the uh, the hangers. But Optic they don't want to go to the B bomb site. They want to go A, and it's going to be. I believe Nate shot getting shut down off the start there. Big Timer was able to find Zybeck, and he will move in and pick up the bomb. Checking out over near the top satellite. Not seeing anything just yet, but there are doors down low in Hangar that Skump can close to help his team move in it and take position near the A-bomb site. Gotta watch out for that back Hangar, though. Lots of players love to utilize the, the sandbag head glitches back there. And Skump just checking out inside the Hangar. Got an eight across. Does not connect onto anything. But if he jumps down low and closes the doors, it, it just makes it so much tougher for the defending team to re enter the bomb site. Jcap stun checking the bomb site. And Big Timer, well, Big Timer's going on an adventure, guys. He's going all the way near back construction. He's going to have great position near back hangar, but keep in mind, he's got the bomb in his hands. So while he's holding his position, Optic, of course, can't get that bomb down. And as he falls, he's going to break his ankles. So that's going to just make uh, a lot of sound. Checking his corners. Not finding anything just yet. There's Scumpy finding Bumzo. As it's still too alive for the opposing team. Maybe a B bomb site rotation from Optic. Never mind, big timer. He wants to go back to his teammates near the A site. Maybe. I, I mean, they are kind of close together. They could definitely work either bomb site here. As he makes his way down low. He's got Scumpy next to him. And now they know where at least one player is on the opposing team. Convict. As he took out J-Cap near the hangar. Big Timer will get this bomb down. And him and Scump, they could just take position here. Keep in mind, third person is enabled. So you got one player watching Scumpy's door there. You got one, uh, one player watching Big Timer around the corner. Finding Fuzzy Nuts. Finds the second as well. Big Timer cleaning both up. You're going to watch it again in the round any kill cam as they put up their first round. See you later, Fuzzy Nuts. Oh, you want some too, Convict? Easy peasy, says Scumbag Big Timer. Switching sides. And we're going to stay with Optic. I want to see how the defense decides to play. So it looks like you can kind of work maybe some initial sniper angles towards the back right part of the map near the offensive spawn. That could kind of work both ways. So is that made from Optic? And you got a sniper in your hands. Nate shot doesn't. Scumpy doesn't. Can't third person them just yet, so I can't see their backs. Scump, nope. Nate shot, nope. 
So no sniper rifles on, on defense for Optic Gaming. Uh, this is just a, a quick movement over to the B site. Nainchat taking control of top hangar. Jcap hanging back over near the hangar. And this is what I was talking about. You know, the defense, they got to fight from the low ground, which it could be pretty tough. You will find one in the corner taking out Bumzo. So first blood going to Optic. And along comes Nainchat. He takes out Fuzzy Nuts, but the bomb does go down very early on in the round despite Fuzzy Nuts and company. They lost two players. Now it's all up to Convict, I believe. And a one-on-four situation does take out Jacob. I got to switch over to Convict, man. Trying to get the grenade off, but he gets shut down by Scumby. Grenade won't even make it down the ladder. Optic Gaming retake the bomb site. And that was just a, a good round from them. I mean, they got the first two down. The bomb was planted, so the offense, they really kind of limited the area on the map that they were able to move around. Because they got to stay near the bomb site, of course. If they go right for the fuse, they got to be able to pick up that kill. Would have liked to see them, you know, maybe stop playing for a little bit. Try to bait Optic into the bomb site. I mean, usually when you go for the plant, you want to be at least even in man count. Where maybe if, if you're clutching around, you, you do it from there. But at least you don't have to worry about kill streaks in this game. They're disabled. They're not allowed. As uh, they were in Black Ops 2. So you don't got to worry about uh, feeding score to the opposing team. But Fuzzy Nuts on your screen for the start of this round. He's got a very fast class on. He wants to fight for position here at the beat bomb site. Could move in behind the corner near the doorway. Also got to watch out for the ladder above him. You see Zyback. He's bottom hanger. And there goes Convict. First blood going to Optic Gaming. Bumzo just spotted one. Trying to get the frag over towards the Jeep. I'm not sure if it'll make it there. It will not. But perhaps Optic pushing the A-bomb site. Fuzzy Nuts is going to take this time to flank around. Bumzo responds. Takes out Scump. This is your scoreboard as it stands. Convict on top. You got to shut down Big Timer, though. Four and one. Performing the best right now for Optic on this map. Fuzzy Nuts just looking around. Doesn't want to make too much noise as he is in a good position. I mean, he went on a long flank as Bumzo finds one more. Here comes Fuzzy Nuts finding J-Cap. That leaves it all up to Big T, you know, one on two. I hope I just switch over to him. Okay, I did. And he's over near the B bomb site. Now, last time we saw Bumzo or uh, Fuzzy Nuts. Fuzzy Nuts was over near the A site. So, Big T could get this bomb down. And he's in a one on two situation. So, he goes for the bomb plant. Of course, he has his three teammates. They're pursing him, of course, just trying to get the most information as they can. As uh, He's quite far away from the bomb right now, just... He's near the offensive spawn. Near back controls. Oh, spots one to his right. Should be a pick. Checking the bomb. Finds one. Big timer. Take this time. Both players in the air, and he will get shut down by Bumzo. As the game will get tied up at two rounds apiece. Fuzzy Nuts with the defuse. There's your scoreboard. Bumzo, still the player to watch for Fuzzy Nuts and company. And big timer still on top for Optic. And, of course, Optic currently lead the series one round to zero. If Optic win this map, well, then they advance to the next round. But if they do not, then we're going to a game three. Okay. So, Optic on defense. Let's go on board with the offensive team. And I think we got we to gotta give Bumzo some more love. He's just been so aggressive around the map. It seems like... He's always able to find that one hole in Optic's setup, and he just exploits it. And he's able to just, you know, give his team such a big advantage at, at the start of the early stages of the game. And I, I like his position here on top of the roof. He could give his team some great cover near the rocks, and he's going to be watching the flank. I mean, no, good position. They get the bomb down so early once again. This time, they don't lose any players up the start, so they are in a much better position. But here comes Scumpy. Takes out Fuzzy Nuts Convict. Now going to... Get in a, a different position. You got Zybek watching his back, and Bumzo still watching the long flank. Good grenade from Convict. Shuts down Scumpy. Action still going down. Bye bye, Convict says Big Timer. Zybek now moving into position. Spots one at the ladder. Doesn't see anybody going for the defuse, though. Oh, he's going to be able to pick them both up. Jcap and Nachap both falling. It is all up to Big Timer, and there's just not enough time remaining on the bomb. It's going to be a round win for Fuzzy Nuts and company. They take the lead three rounds to two. And they're now one away from forcing map three. Bumso with just the better positioning. He's able to pick up the kill. Switching sides. 
So moving into round number six, the pressure on Optic. Switch over to them. They're going to be on offense. And from what I've seen so far this map, it seems like B, at least, you know, this is the only game I've seen on uh, Overlord Search and Destroy. But it seems like the B site is the more favored to go to. You've seen Optic try to, you know, work these early picks at A, but they really haven't found much success over there. Whereas Fuzzy Nuts and company, they've been constantly pushing that B bomb site, and they found more offensive round wins over there. Oh, big timer. I think he just spotted one over near Top Rock Shots going down near the B bomb site. Let's switch over to the Ginger Ninja Scum. As he just looks to take over Top Control, work this area, and he will find. First blood onto Fuzzy Nuts. Spots another one. Waiting for the kill. And he will take out Zyback. Optic Gaming in a great position to try to force round seven. Nate Shot clearing out the B bomb site. Just waiting for somebody to give him some support. J Cap's going to go down the ladder, I believe, when when, J when Nate Shot moves in through the side door. But Convict does find Big Timer. Come, he gets revenge as Bumzo's the last player alive inside the B bomb site, it looks like. J-Cap watching the top ladder. Where is Scumpy and all this? Scumpy finds him near the B site. He gets taken out. J-Cap now in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Bumzo, this was a 1v3 situation for him earlier. Finds two kills. And now it is him versus J-Cap. Third person around the corner. Where is he going to be? Bomb, of course, is dropped right in front of J-Cap. He's going to be able to pick this back up. Oh, he's going to spot him at the door. J-Cap takes him out. Bumzo was so close to clutching that out. If he was literally a second sooner... On this push through the back door, he would have had to kill on the J cap, but connecting with all three bullets just melts him where he stands as Optic Force round seven. Gotta stay with them as they're going to be on offense once again. There's their scoreboard. Scump the player to watch, but you see Bumzo eight and four. This guy is so good at search and destroy. As who did I say I wanted to watch? I want to watch Scumpy. Uh, Go over to him. So Scump, he loves to work the hangar. He loves to just fight position. And this is the early sniper picks where I was trying to talk about a bit earlier. Trying to work over near the satellite. Stuns go out. Nades do not connect though. And in, even if this you know small push towards the A-bomb site does not work out, they could easily rotate over to B. They, of course, have the high ground position to work with. But it looks like they do want to commit to the A-bomb site. You see all four players for Optic Gaming near this area of the map. They're trying to work the two-on-one, but Convict finds Big Timer. Picks him off. So man advantage to Fuzzy Nuts and company off the start. Scumpy trying to go for the kill. Cannot connect onto Convict. Two players up the line. Not looking good for Optic here. But of course they have so much time to work with. A minute 40 left on the clock. And J-Cap does manage to finally end Convict's spree. Nade with the bomb in his hands. He's just going to rotate back to his spawn, make sure no one's on the flank. J-Cap leaning on the tree. Not the best position to work with, but just check around. Could, of course, do some major damage with this MSBS. Jumps in towards top hangar. Checking his corners. Hasn't found anything just yet, but taking it slow. Crouching around. Is, wants to make as little noise as possible. Not want to get sounded out of a death here. Stun goes out, doesn't connect. Nate shot in a bit of fire here. Does take out Bump, so that's going to even things up two on two. And still so much time remaining on the clock now, 55 seconds. You can see that Optic, they, they're trying to bait out the remaining two players, Fuzzy Nuts and Zyback. They're trying to bait him over to the A bomb site, and Optic are going to try to catch him out of position. J Cap still roaming around near top hangar. While J Cap, bottom hangar. I mean, Nate shot in bottom hangar. J-Cap, of course, he is the player up top, but seems like they want to make a rotation inside the B site. Got to check all of these corners, and they're going to leave with the bomb carrier. Oh, one in the back, J-Cap. So quick does he take out Zybek as Nate is going to go for the plant. They had the man advantage. And J-Cap finds him in the back. Bomb does go down. J-Cap, stun goes out. He gets stunned himself. Does not connect with his. You got to watch out. Where is he going to go? He could go towards... Oh, he's actually going to connect with the grenade. And that is all she wrote. Optic, they go down two earlier in the round. The grenade banks off the wall, finds Fuzzy Nuts here for the kill, but they lost two players within the first couple of seconds in the round. They're able to battle back from a 4v2 disadvantage. J-Cap and Nate Shot coming up clutch. You see the final scoreboard. It's going to be 7-5, five, 5-5 five five for Big T. Team effort from Optic Gaming.
as they move on to the next round. Unfortunately for Fuzzy Nuts and company, they are eliminated from the tournament. And despite some fantastic search and destroy play from Bumzo, just wasn't enough to force game three. We're going to commercial break. When we come back, we're going to be following Optic Gaming as they move on to their next round. Stay tuned for more action of the 4v4 Search and Destroy Ghost Kickoff Tournament after this quick commercial break.